All right, so a couple nights ago, I had two guys come around 4 a.m., try to steal my truck. They broke the door lock. They broke uh, a little bit of the ignition uh, housing off. After a few minutes of messing around in there, they gave up and they took off. Not only are they thieves, but they're bad at being thieves. And not only are they bad at being thieves, at least take a Milwaukee Impact or something for your trouble. Don't come all the way to my house, break into my truck, and take nothing. You just wasted your time. Not only did they take nothing, but they left their hammer on the seat. Cool. Thank you. I got a free hammer. At this point in their lives, not even their mother can pretend to be proud of them. So my factory alarm failed when I needed it most. Can't trust that, so I decided to design my own alarm system from scratch. And this is the basic wiring diagram for that. Now I have a video of how this circuit works. I will link that in the video description here, so you can check that out if you're curious or you want to do it yourself. Now I need to hop on Amazon, do a little bit of shopping, get a few things, and then I need to test those components to make sure they work in the ways that I want them to work. There was a few changes I had to make based on how the components actually functioned. Test the power draw, all that fun stuff. I gotta fix my door latch, fix my door handle, fix all the stuff that they broke, do a crap load of wiring, mix in a little 3D printing, and then this is the end result. So just for demonstration purposes, I have disconnected the horn, but under normal operation, you can use the truck, whether it's on or off, you know, do whatever um, in the middle of wiring stuff, but um, normal operation, do whatever we want. When I turn the security system on, what that's going to do is as soon as somebody opens the door and tries to mess with it, it's going to turn on all of the towing lights minus the light bar. That's a serial controlled bar. So that's a different thing but it's gonna turn on all of the red lights around the truck. It's gonna blast the horn, and it's also going to shut down the truck and disable it from starting. So, now, see, security system's off. Nothing happens, use the truck like normal, whatever. Turn it on. Boom. All right, I'm actually uh, decently pleased with how the security system turned out. We have audio and visual alerts, and beyond that, if they want to ignore those, we have taken additional steps so the truck is actually disabled and cannot and will not be driven away. Other little interesting little tidbit I found out is right after they got done trying to steal mine, they went a couple blocks over and ended up stealing somebody else's Chevy. So they were definitely after an early 2000s Chevy. That one is currently at the impound getting fingerprinted, so we'll see if anything happens with that. Now, even though the security system is pretty elaborate and will function well and do exactly what I needed it to do, I have actually implemented a few other features that I'm not going to show. So the truck is definitely going to be extra secure and I'm not worried about having it parked on the street anymore.